the January 31st supermoon, will feature a total lunar eclipse, with totality viewable from western North America across the Pacific to eastern Asia. The moon's orbit around our planet is tilted, so it usually falls above or below the shadow of the Earth. About twice each year, a full moon lines up perfectly with the Earth and Sun, such that the Earth's shadow totally blocks the Sun's light, which would normally reflect off the moon. The lunar eclipse on January 31st will be visible during moonset. Folks in the eastern United States, where the eclipse will be partial, will have to get up in the morning to see it, notes Petro, but it's another great chance to watch the moon. The moon will lose its brightness and take on an eerie, fainter-than-normal glow from the scant sunlight that makes its way through Earth's atmosphere. Often cast in a reddish hue because of the way the atmosphere bends the light, totally eclipsed moons are sometimes called blood moons. We're seeing all the Earth's sunrises and sunsets at that moment, reflected from the surface of the moon, says Sarah Noble, a program scientist at NASA headquarters. The January 31st supermoon will also be the second full moon of the month. Some people call the second full moon in a month a blue moon. That makes it a super blue moon. Blue moons happen every two and a half years on average. With the total eclipse, it will be a royal spectacle indeed. A super blue blood moon.